Hello, Gopher fans, and welcome to the Gold Blooded Podcast. I am your host, Rachel Bannum, and we'll be coming to you every two weeks or so with some women's basketball players from the current team, alumni, maybe some staff and coaches. So today I have some really special Minnesotans here with me. We got Katie B and Mags. Katie, how about you introduce yourself a little bit? Where are you from? What's your year? And what is your major? Okay, well, I'm Katie B. I am from Roseville, Minnesota. I am a redshirt freshman, and I am double majoring in psychology and business and marketing. Beautiful. Wow. You remembered all that. All right. I'm Maggie Sonano. I'm from Watertown, Minnesota. I'm a sophomore, and I'm majoring in science and psychology. Love it. Okay, before we start getting into the season stuff, I want to know why you guys chose to come to Minnesota. I think a big part is if you grow up in Minnesota, you're like, oh, I want to be a gopher. You know, like yeah. there's not a lot of like out of state like schools you want to go to. I don't know. It's really just like growing up, always want to be a gopher. And then it helps that, you know, Lindsey Whalen came and coached a couple <laughs> yeah. <laughs> couple years before yeah. we <laughs> committed. Yeah. And I know Katie's far away from home, but I'm I'm a homebody. I knew I wanted to say like if not in Minnesota, somewhere close, it was just perfect. Totally. I think it helps like that Minnesota is the only – Division one, well now St. Thomas, but I think having Minnesota being the only Division one school yeah. too, mm -hmm. it's like even that more like enticing to want to stay in Minnesota. So mm -hmm. I get that. All right, let's talk about the season. Okay, so we just finished playing our first exhibition game mm -hmm. against River Falls. We played pretty well. We won by forty points. How do you guys feel about it overall as a team? Overall, I think it was a really good game. I mean, none of us have ever played together, like literally ever. Rose hasn't played with Katie. I haven't played with Rose. Even us returners haven't played together. So I think it was a really good showing. No, I agree with that, that literally no one has played together. Like, even the freshmen coming in, we were all, like, pretty close with them, but we never, like, played together. Like, we knew each other, not even, like, tendencies, not even really personalities. It was mm -hmm. great for our first game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. I think, especially after our scrimmage the week before, mm -hmm. I thought we showed, like, we got so much better. Even mm -hmm. in that one week of practice, um, we shot really well. I mean, we were getting buckets. No, we were. we were. We were. We were. <laughs> it was, what, 104 to 64? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. How do you guys feel individually that you guys did? Like, good things you did, maybe some stuff that you would want to do better, or maybe there's not. I don't know. No, there definitely is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. um, I think, like, overall, in the big picture, like, I think it goes with both of us, like, same way we were a year ago. You can't really be mad at yourselves because, like, I was literally in an eye patch and a boot a year ago. So <laughs> I couldn't see out of my left eye. So the fact that I was able to even, like, play is a big thing. No, I I agree. It's hard to be like, oh, this is the player I was last year because yeah. we really didn't play didn't. last year. No. Yeah. Like, it, like, we have to look back on, like, two years ago, but we're not those same players anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's more of, like, a day-to-day -day improvement. Like, okay, how did I do today? And then you just think about that in the game. Okay. This is what I've done so far this year. What can I improve from practices? Because we haven't had any games yet, yeah. just a scrimmage and an exhibition. Yeah, I think that's a really good segue for us, kind of talking about you guys last season, overcoming injuries. Um, Max, you kind of <laughs> hinted at the eye patch, the boot, really good look. And then Katie, obviously you had a really major surgery. So can you kind of like give the fans a little bit of maybe like what you guys went through last year and then now where you're at? Um, mine's a little confusing. So I sprained my ankle about three times, same ankle. So that's why that's the whole boot. And then they were also fat ankles. Like they were, they were, they were very fat bad. Sprains. Yeah. I just didn't have luck. Okay. Like it was just, I had horrible <laughs> luck. Um, and on top of that bad luck, when I was coming back from all those ankle sprains, I got a bacteria infection in my eye <laughs> and lost my vision in my left eye. It thinned by my cornea thinned by 30%. So we're, we're still coming back from it, but way better now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mine, I guess, kind of happened quickly. It, like, went throughout the summer. I started, like, getting symptoms in my legs. And we just had to, I don't know, find it out by MRIs. So we took a couple, and they didn't realize it was my brain. So once that was figured out, we got surgery November 1st. Little past year, year, I think woot yesterday woot. was a year. Yeah, so, yeah. Woot woot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I was recovered for most of this summer, mm -hmm. where I was like almost back to normal and just like, okay, like 
figuring out who I was as a player again. Yeah. But mm-hmm. still tough. Like, yeah. yeah. No, seeing both of you play, I mean, I was around last year because I would come play on the scout team. So it's just crazy to see, like, both of you. I know after all of that, like, I talked to you a lot, Megs, mm-hmm. about, like, you're definitely most improved this year. Thank you. For sure. And it's been really fun to see. And Katie, like, all, like, that type of surgery and, like, where you're at and what you do and the passion you bring is, like, really, really impressive. So you guys should be both be very proud of yourselves. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, okay. So why, if you guys don't know this, these two are besties. They're always together. <laughs> they leave the gym together because Maggie is always waiting on Katie. Always. Can we she talk about takes that? You know, always. I, okay. Okay. <laughs> People just like to talk, and I you just, are, you I'll are just people. listen. People is Katie. It's funny because I'm the exact same way when I leave the gym, so I actually totally get it, and I have a bestie on my team that waits for me, so sorry, Meg. Oh, like, my goodness. I'm and you see this hair? Team. This hair takes forever. So when she showers, it's like a 20-step process for her to leave the gym. You see, the curls need to be popping, so <laughs> I just take my time, my sweet time, sweet, sweet time. Yeah. And she always rushes me. She always stands right by the door just <laughs> looking at me in her jacket and her backpack just looks at me like might go on her phone looks at me again and i like she doesn't say it but she says it with her eyes you know like hurry up like i'm yeah. rushing right now like we gotta get places i'm glad she knows yep i do i do know <laughs> yeah I'm glad she knows. it's gonna be a few more years of this man yeah, so yeah. i know i know why do you guys think your besties just minnesotan girls <laughs> just clicking or no actually before i came to minnesota i thought i wasn't gonna like katie she just told me yeah, yeah, yeah. i thought i Juicy. wasn't gonna like her so all right why is that I don't know. I mean, okay, I never, like, actually talked. So it, it's bad on my part. But I never actually talked to her. I've just played against her. And if you play against Katie, like, you hate Katie. Like, nobody likes to be defended by Katie. She's a person Katie. that you don't want to you don't wanna play against, but you like them when they're on your team. Yes. Yeah. So that's the only kind of, like, insight I had on Katie. I like Katie now. <laughs> so <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Well, I think it was within, like, two weeks after we, like, really started to get along. And I think it was just our personalities. And you're like, you know, I didn't think I was going to like you. You know, like, you I'm just honest. seemed to meet. I know. I appreciated that. I love honest people. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, And we were like, we were in a four by two, but we were like, shared the bathroom together. So we were like, had, we were forced to talk. Yeah, we <laughs> shared bedroom walls. We could hear almost every little conversation, shared a bathroom. So it was very intimate space, <laughs> but a very good time of, yeah. What, just getting it to wasn't, know each other? Okay, it like, wasn't forced friendship, first No, <laughs> no. Like, okay, people ask us, like, oh, because you both were, like, injured, like, did you spend a lot of time outside, yeah. like, because of your injuries? Not really. I think it was just because we lived together and we enjoyed each yeah. other's company, not yeah. just because, like, we were both injured. Yeah, yeah. and being roommates, it's kind of like, it's already, like, an instant yeah. best friend, usually, or, like, yeah. a built-in sister. Like, yeah. Yeah. you can't really get rid of each other, so it's easier just to... Be besties yeah. at that point. No, it yeah. is. Yeah. And it's like sisters. You're going to get annoyed at each other, but <laughs> yeah. each other. I already know. I can already imagine. I don't yeah, even that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I try to calm my annoyance down sometimes. Oh, but... you can tell. Katie is so bad at hiding. Yeah, I am. I, I just walk away at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I just avoid the whole situation. But, like, we can read each other because we're still roommates now. We live in a two-bed, two-bath. Yeah. So we changed from four roommates last year to just us two. Okay. Even more intimate. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, this is good because then on the court you'll just be clicking. And yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and read each other too better. Like, yeah. Even in like practices, I think I can read Katie pretty well. And even if she gives me a hard, like when Katie gets mad, her high fives get ten times harder. Mm. So then I can be like, okay, so my hand is on fire. So <laughs> five minutes later, why did you high five me so hard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I usually apologize. No, she does. Okay. She does. That's good. She apologizes. I love this. I hope this continues forever. <laughs> Thank you. <me> too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that Thanksgiving is right around the corner, uh-huh. just finished up Halloween, now on to Thanksgiving. What is your guys' favorite Thanksgiving food? Katie. Oh, I would have to say uh, creamed corn. That's really random. What is the it? Heck? Who says creamed corn? Okay, but like, you think like you got turkey, you got like potatoes, yeah, mashed potatoes. Things. But like, well, we always have, <laughs> wait, oh, <laughs> we always have cream corn. Like, you can put it in your mashed potatoes. Yeah, cream it's corn just is a fire. great I just side. I've never heard somebody say that okay. as their favorite. But well, my mom that. makes really good cream corn. Okay. So shout out to my mom. Yep. Yes, Mrs. B. Yep. <laughs> Okay, Max, what's your favorite thing? Um, honestly, like, turkey's not my favorite. It's kind of dry. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of dry. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, mashed potatoes is a good one, but, like, pumpkin pie. And we also, we also have, like, cherry pie. 
Okay. I think Saving Cherry Pie has been my favorite since I, like, I would have that for my birthday. I don't eat, I don't like cake. So I would eat cherry pie. I don't like cake pie. either. Okay. For my birthday parties. I, my friends probably hated it, even though I didn't have a lot of friends, but yeah. they probably hated it. Okay, that's noted. <laughs> cherry pie? <laughs> cherry pie. Can I love know. cherry pie. Yes. Cherry pie? Yep. Okay. Okay. Favorite candy? Mm. Uh, that's a tough one. Can we do like chocolate and then like... Oh, yeah. yeah. And then... Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, that so works. Like, okay. Would that, that... That's a sweet... I would say... I'm more fan of salty, but I would say like the Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah. Those yeah. are really good. I would say probably like you know those like like chocolate with caramel in it, right? Like the ooey caramel. But you know yeah. in like sixth grade when you like fundraised? Did you guys do that? Oh. For the, with those yeah. caramel chocolate yeah. bars? Those. Oh, those yeah. are fire. Those. Yeah. Fire. Dollar per bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? Did you guys ever end up using like the stick ones? Like later in the years, we yeah, had like stick yeah. ones instead of the bars. Yeah, that was like, the they skinnier ripped, ones. Yeah, they yeah. Ripped yeah. You off. Like, those are when, still good, but the yeah. When we were in our prime, they were thick ones. Okay. <laughs> Full on bars. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, yeah. What do we like? Consider? Just like candy, but like I'm thinking like nerd clusters. Oh, like so it's not chocolate, those are good. but like I get those for plane rides, and Katie always goes, "Can I have? A few? Can I have? Can I have? Can oh, I have what do you got over and there?" And then the bag just sits over there for like ten <laughs> minutes, and I'm like, "Where did my nerd clusters go?" Okay, even if they're not the clusters, just nerd ropes in general. Yeah, I don't nerd like nerds though. Like nerds on their own. No, no. yeah, because yeah, no, no. it adds a little like crunchy, but also like yes, smooth. they're yeah. so good. Yeah, mm -hmm. great choice. Okay, what's our favorite thing? Our favorite fall thing. It's almost Christmas. I would say. No, it's not. I would say I just oh. love the sweater or sweatshirt and just sweatpants. Yes. So just wearing that, that's probably my favorite thing. Me too. Right? Yeah, I don't feel hot yeah, wearing it. Yeah, you're just comfortable. Yeah. Yes, very comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm being so for real. When it's fall, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> so that's what your favorite. So you just look forward to Christmas. Christmas. Like, that's when it's fall, I'm like, okay, like, give me a couple more months of Christmas. Okay, that's valid. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. You ready for the presents? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I still have to get all my presents. That hurts my bank account. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, okay. Favorite Minnesotan thing. What does that even? That's like, kind of tough. Like I always would say lakes. Like I love the love lakes. Love the lakes. Or like yeah. cheese curds, which might be kind of Minnesota, Wisconsin. Yeah. You know, something like that. Well, I would steal both of those answers. I would literally say uh, cheese yeah, curds I and lakes, okay. especially lakes. I have one where I live, and it's. Crucial. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I would say likes too. We have a cabin on Whitefish Chain. Where's so that? It's like Cross Lake. You know Cross Lake? And you called it Whitefish Chain? It's Whitefish Chain. So it's like Cross Lake, Daggett Lake, Whitefish, Rush. How far away is this? Trout. From Minneapolis? Like two and a half. Oh, okay. Three. It's like a ton of lakes, like huge <laughs> lakes that you can just like boat through all of them. So we jump in on trout, oh. and it's like 100 feet deep, like crazy. Oh it's gosh. so fun. That yep. sounds amazing. Lakes. <laughs> we love lakes. Okay. <laughs> Rachel, do you have a favorite lake? Oh, yeah. We should well, be asking you, too. Yeah. Like, people want to hear from you. No, like, they're probably no. like, who are these people? No, shush. No. Who is Rachel Banner? <laughs> <laughs> My family lives on Lake Mille Lacs. Do you okay. guys know where that is? Yeah. It's like an hour 40. They live in Garrison. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's Dude, the biggest no lake. Idea. I have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, I okay. Just I was like, you don't know where that I is. Don't. Yeah, it's okay. Lake okay. Relax is the biggest lake in Minnesota. I'm almost <laughs> positive on that. I'm almost positive. I'm not like 100%, but I'm No, but I, I believe you. It's okay. huge. You, okay. That's yep. the only details I have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good. Okay. Lake Relax. Yes. You should visit it. Okay. Maybe we should. I'm kind of Last one of these. What's your favorite fast food? And it can't be Chipotle because that's not fast food. Okay. Like drive through. Drive know? through. Okay. Okay. Even if it's not our favorite, we talk about Arby's all the time because their sliders. It's like a dollar. So good. Yes. Dollar Okay. That's what I was going to say. Like, am I on a budget or am I like. Fast food is budget. <laughs> okay. But there's like what? budget no. and then there's also like uh, budget. Like Culver's is. Yeah. Like Culver's not is too like. Because Culver's is kind of bougie for yeah, fast yeah. food. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm, if I'm on a budget, which is most of the time, Arby's. Because you can get like a buffalo chicken slider, mm. those are good. Fire. Or you can get normal, or you can get the roast beef sliders. Katie doesn't get those, so good. Put some Arby sauce on it. It's yeah. like a dollar. I've 50. never tried them. Roast and then beef, like, yes. Arby sandwiches are so so. Okay. Good. I want to say this. Everyone hates on Arby's. It's those good. are the people who actually haven't tried it. That's what I'm saying. They're like, oh, like it's all roast like beef. Yep. 
It's yeah. so good. We have the meats. Yeah, no, it's when we were younger, <laughs> we would like my mom, my mom would put like all of us kids in the car, like with my my friends, whatever, and we'd go get like thirty roast beef sandwiches. And we just They're, throw them in the back. Who wants more? Who wants more? Yeah, this is my challenge to the fans. Just go try it, and then and then let me know. Please get the curly fries too. They are very good, and they With usually the Arby sauce. They, I'm telling oh, you, the Arby sauce. I would just, I, I would just do ketchup. Yeah, but have weird. you tried the Arby sauce? I have not. Okay. I need to try the Arby sauce. Well, I have. I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying I haven't you just tried said, it. Uh, I would do ketchup. No, That's I'm hating just, on it. I would. Uh, I would do ketchup, but I would try the Arby sauce. But. They usually have those special, like shakes. Like sometimes they'll have like a shamrock shake, yeah. or like a the pumpkin Jam- shake. Jamaica so good, or something mm-hmm. shakes. Yeah. Good. Very shamrock good. Shamrock shakes from McDonald's. Yeah, I don't know if I've had yeah. one from McDonald's. Yeah, I've yeah. I've never had one from Arby's. McDonald's is where you get them. I've never gotten one from. Well, if I, if I go to McDonald's, try, yeah. I get we the McFlurries. Get- the oh no! But this is Oreo like a shake. This is like a shamrock shake, like out of a straw. This is the most passionate we've been <laughs> in this entire podcast. Is over the fast food. <laughs> okay, let's talk ball. We have. <laughs> okay, we have our upcoming season opener yep. coming up next Monday against Western Illinois. How are we feeling, preparation wise? Um, just getting ready, like, is there nerves? And just how are you guys feeling overall? And as a team, too, like, how's everybody preparing and all that? I mean, excited. Mm-hmm. And the nerves usually don't hit until the day of. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, you just get done with pregame meal. Yes. And then you sit there, and you're starting to get ready. You get the loops. And then yes. the nerves come in. Yeah. So it's not, like, a whole week of, like, oh, my gosh, we have a game in a week. But just excited. Like, we said earlier, yeah. none of us have played together, so it's a chance for us to. Yeah, I think it's going to go really play. well. I think more so I'm more worried about getting rid of this stuffy nose by the time I have to play. Because <laughs> oh I am going <sighs> to. <sighs> That's going to be me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> and you're already kind of like that even if you don't have a. No, I can't. But same, like, listen, honestly, like, same. If you were to watch a practice, you'd see me on the sideline going. <sighs> <sighs> like you like a time. partial bent over yes. like. Like Juan has to tell me to breathe in through my nose, out through my mouth every single day. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> okay, do you guys have any uh, superstitions on game day? I love hearing this because so, so everyone's so different with this. I have none. Okay. Not a single superstition. Yeah. I'm very superstitious, but it doesn't even come to game day. Like I walk home the same from my class every single day. I do my hair every single like the same every single day. Yeah, I do. can't. I have if I take a nap one day and have good practice, I have to t- keep taking naps. Like I walk. Yeah. So this is an everyday thing. Not oh, this is game day thing. This is like every day, and then game day. I guess it's the same. Like I started something last time, so I'm gonna have to take a nap on that same couch, <laughs> and I'm gonna walk. <laughs> I don't know. It shouldn't be that way, but no. Like I told Maya, like we were walking back from class one day, and I was like, she was like, obviously it's like the faster way. She was going the right way, and I was yeah. like, no, like I have to cut through like. And she's like, why? Well, I was like, I just, I, I just have to cut through. That's work. hilarious. So she started walking with me that way. So, well, there you go. So because um, I had 18 points, that's because we walked. <laughs> it was because of that. Yeah. So <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, but on game day, you don't do anything like put your right shoe on first and your left oh, shoe. Oh yeah, I do. Or... I put brace, brace, right, left shoe. Okay. Me and Katie talked about this one time. We did, and I think I said. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. But I think I do sock, shoe, sock, shoe. But Ew, I think it, I think yeah, it, what the heck? Okay, I think it depends. <laughs> like, okay, I get taped, right? Yeah. And then I like put on one sock, and then sometimes it's just like, oh, that was a nice one. Because you know, the shoe, okay, just like <laughs> the sock gets stuck on the tape, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So sometimes it just like goes on nicely. I'm like, oh, that was a good one. So I'll just put my shoe on. No. Or sometimes I'll do both. You know, I'm just like all over the place. You I don't have sock, like a routine. Sock, shoe, shoe. You There's have no to. other way. You have to. I thought it was sock, sock, shoe, shoe. But sometimes sock, I shoe, do change sock, it. Sock, shoe is sick. That's disgusting. It's unacceptable, honestly. You know, I just think mm. you're hating. <laughs> no, we Have are. you tried it? You know, we were just hating I on me on the RV sauce. Never. That is so gross. Okay. Right, Max? That is disgusting. <laughs> I thought this was judgment free zone, We're but I guess roasting, not. But Let's just roast KDB the rest of the I time. agree. Like I love doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how special is it for you guys to play at Williams? Like 
the barn is such a cool place to me and mm -hmm. it's just one of those like historical gems especially because it has the raised floor mm -hmm. how do you guys feel about it i would say because we grew up like if you make it to the state tournament you get to play at williams yeah. and earlier in the years it was that you had to win to make like the first game yep like to for the semis, the semis and then the yes yeah. and then you were able to play at williams yeah. And if you didn't win the first game, you didn't get a play. Yeah. So it was a lot of like, oh my gosh, we get to play at Williams only if we win. Yep. So it was just a lot of pressure, but it was just like a very cool experience. And I don't know, I love playing on the raised floor. Like it's very unique, but I don't know, I guess I'm used to it now, but. Yeah. Yeah, I loved going, sitting in the stands, watching Katie play in the state tournament <laughs> in my class <laughs> <laughs> oh my for like three years in a row. I loved that experience. <laughs> No, but yeah, I agree. And I like I like the wood floor now. I think that's going to be so, like, not the white floor, it's back to the wood. Like, I think yeah, I agree. Awesome. I agree. It was yeah. just Listen, not I already, I already had eye problems. Light already affects it. A yeah. white floor. It did. It reflected <laughs> really oh. bad. Like, we would it be shooting hard. or dribbling, and there'd be, like, reflection yeah. all over the floor. Because, like, my sister would always be like, oh, but you guys have the advantage because you shoot on that normally. No, it's still hard to shoot. It's, like, yep. yeah. we're still off. Yeah. You know what always cracks me up about people who come to the barn is they're so worried about falling off the court. I am. Really? <laughs> First off, listen. <laughs> I get asked that all the time. Like, in, some teams come and practice, like, sliding off the okay, floor. Okay, not like come that. Come on. Not like that. Who? No, sometimes I take layups, and I'm, like, two inches from the floor, and I'm like, ooh. But, yeah. like, not, I'm not, like, I don't, I don't want to take a layup because I'm going to fall off the floor. Like, that's not how it yeah. is. But, like, when I get close, I'm I like, think I've fallen off the court twice when I played here. <laughs> like and fell off or like, like jumped off like I jumped off once trying to save the ball and then one okay. time like I let, fouled on layup and I kind of tumbled and I didn't move oh, okay. okay. but it was kind of oh, sick like I felt agile. yeah I felt athletic parkour. yeah it was cool yeah. I felt athletic everyone was like ooh and I popped up <laughs> 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 can we find that somewhere? <laughs> yeah, please. Can we like get that clip? What if I just made it up? What if there's no clip? <laughs> no, I swear really, it happened. Really, she's laying on the floor for like 30 seconds. Yeah, of pain. yeah. <laughs> no pop up. I didn't even slide. I just died right on the floor <laughs> right there. No, I swear it happened. It happened. It happened. Okay. Last thing. Actually, maybe a couple more things. We'll see. What is the coolest thing you guys saw on social media this week or in real life? Anything cool, weird, funny? Um, exciting um, I've been on Twitter a lot and they're usually funny but I you might, you might have to give me a second to think about it yeah that one's a tough one I'm trying to think if I have anything on that one usually there's some type of like memes but yeah. I don't know anything specific I just say memes I think I, I made memes. a funny thing to study my anatomy the other day <laughs> <laughs> okay okay I'd agree with that Please. I had an anatomy exam this morning we don't know how it went but I did study I don't even remember the rhyme. So that shows you how the test went. Wait, what was the rhyme? No, okay. The rhyme was, well, oh, once one takes the anatomy final, very good vacations are heavenly. You know, like, if you got, like, what? like a bunch of, like, <laughs> words or something, and it has to be in order? Like, my dear Aunt Sally, like, something. Oh. Like, and then like I had to see you, if, like, they were, like, yeah. if they were motor or sensory. So I did. What did I do? Some say marry money, but my big brother says big business makes money. Yes, it's uh. just funny because it just doesn't make uh. sense. But like, no. <laughs> I didn't, it, it, was, you, I mean, it wasn't even a question on the test, so I just did it for fun, I guess. Oh, it didn't even No, come it didn't up. even come up. Oh. So annoying. You know when that happens? Like, yeah. And it was for the brain. First oh. off, the brain, I'm just not even going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> the brain should be its own exam. I get many I get many rants at night. I'm sure. Yeah. Imagine just, uh, the whole brain yeah, is dude, just a I part of the it. exam and then you have the cranial nerves and spinal nerves and Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I don't either and yeah. I just took <laughs> the exam on it. So. Yeah, yeah, good. I hope I hope we did well. <laughs> Thank you. I hope we stay eligible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have some random extra questions for you. What sport would you guys play outside of basketball? I would play volleyball. I played it in high school. I could see that. I love it. Were you libero? I was all the way around five, five, five outside hitter and back row. Ooh. Okay, maybe five six. Yeah. I'm like right in the middle of five five and five six. Okay, I always just assume the smallest person is the libero because they're low to the ground. Usually, but I went to a smaller school. You know, there were a lot of smaller girls. True. Than me. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was like medium height, almost getting up to one of the tallest people. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It depends on the year. My grade, there's probably like five people taller than me. Yeah. Wow. Just volleyball, not like the whole grade. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. That makes it better. <laughs> Megs? 
Um, I played soccer in high school. I wouldn't play soccer if I was – I was not good at soccer, listen. I was just fast. So I just played defense and I would, could outrun people. So – And you're long. Yeah. I was not good at soccer, let's be real. <laughs> but I would play volleyball. Everybody was telling me to play volleyball because I'm like, I got a pretty good vertical yeah. and blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. So maybe, but I don't know how to – like, I don't understand volleyball. Like, you have to set up – a certain, like, I understand, like, keep the ball off the ground and, like, set one, two, three. So you never like, played volleyball growing up? No. Okay. But you Both played soccer sister. and you weren't good at it. <laughs> Supposedly. Okay, like, I, I was, like, good at it. Like, yeah, I got, like, the all-state recognition, like, blah, blah, blah. But I was just, I just didn't know, how, I didn't have foot How skills. are you going to say you weren't good and you were all-state, dog? Because I knew how to k- boot the ball. Like, I was on defense, and literally the, the other team would be like, she's just going to boot it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I am. Like, <laughs> it all the I don't want it over by me. I don't know how yeah. to, like, finesse my way around you. Like, okay. that's just not going to happen. That's so I, I could run, and I could kick a ball. So. Okay. Soccer. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> um, okay, do you guys have any favorite – I'm hoping for the right answer on this – NFL team. Do you guys watch football? Uh-huh. It's well, okay if you recently. don't. Recently. Yeah, not recently. Growing up, and you know it was always the Vikings. Okay, good. That's all I needed to know. But not recently, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As long as you the said Vikings. The Vikings are doing good, though. Yeah. Like six good, and like, Yeah. I've, six my Twitter has been blowing up. Very surprisingly, but. Yeah. yeah it's my amazing. Twitter has been blowing up. I, I only know Kirk Cousins. Really? I think so. Justin Jefferson? Oh, Adam Thielen? Thielen? Yeah, Thielen. Also, I just saw. He's young. Who? Adam Thielen. Isn't he like 26 or 27? No. No. Oh. He's older than me. Okay. Well, so and isn't he from Minnesota though? Yeah. He went, yeah. He went to a D two school. Yeah. His story is really in Minnesota great. or yeah. just D two. Mankato. Wasn't Mankato. It? Uh-huh. And then got drafted. Like that's crazy. He's awesome. I did a podcast with him. Go listen to it. We should be asking her <laughs> questions. Like, <laughs> no, she's not, I feel like she's more like, interesting no. than us. No, no, no. Well, no, no. what do you like most about fall? I already said. No, who's, your fo- <laughs> who's your favorite <laughs> football team? Who's your favorite football team? Okay, we know Vikings. Vikings. But, like, who's your favorite football player? Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Do you have any other that aren't on the Vikings? Yeah, Stefan Diggs, but he used to be on okay. the Vikings. Okay. Are we going to get, <laughs> gonna get Beckham Jr.? I don't think so. I don't think we really need him. We don't need I mean, a, you can always use an extra hand. <laughs> we don't need a wide receiver. Oh, we got, I don't know. We got the best in the biz. And we're 6-1. and one. Let's not mess Well, they're up, rolling right now, yeah. Let's not mess up the mojo we're working with. That's uh, true. Valid. You know what I mean? What'd you do on Halloween night? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you dress up as, actually? I dress up as Dwight Schrute. Please go look at my Instagram for uh, reference. Um, I did not actually do anything on Halloween. You literally, like, dressed up and took it off? I was with a couple friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dressed up, and then I did take it off. And then actual Halloween, I didn't do anything. I know. This How'd is where my life has come did to. Did your fiancé like the costume? Yeah, he thought it was... He loves me. He thought it was hilarious. <laughs> he knows I'm weird, so it's fine. <laughs> Good. He's accepted that Good. at this point. He he chose me, so... <laughs> he did. He stuck. He did. <laughs> he did. That was on him. <laughs> okay, what is your guys' fave NBA and WNBA team? No. And just be honest, you don't have to say Minnesota teams. It's okay. We won't we won't be sad. Okay, this last year, my favorite was Seattle for WNBA. Okay. Uh, NBA. That's a harder one. Mags. I'm thinking. Okay. I'd say WNBA, I feel like I kept up to date with the fever more. Probably because Kathleen Doyle was drafted there a couple years ago, and I think I've kept up with them pretty frequently ever since then. She's not she doesn't play for them anymore, but yeah. Um, and then they played. Was they in the played, bubble. She yeah, in the bubble. Yeah, and they played a lot of rookies this year. Like they played a ton of rookies this year. So I think that was pretty interesting. Yeah, they had like five. Yeah, yeah. NBA. I feel like I don't keep up with NBA as much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Listen. I don't. It's I just, a lot of games. Yeah. yeah. And if a so team is just on, I'll watch. I'll support all. But then yeah. some players I might like more. But uh, is there a, like a favorite player in the NBA? I mean, I always like to watch Kyrie. But yeah. I mean, the point guard. Yeah. And- Really good hand. I would say yeah. I don't have a favorite team, but I've been watching the Lakers just to see if they would win. That's true. They are going because I watched. Hill. I watched them. When I they think played. they won finally. Did they? Did they? Yeah. I didn't watch that one game, so maybe I need to stop watching. Yeah, maybe. but it's you. <laughs> I watched them when they played the Wolves, and then me and Gage watched them when they played like some other team. And we were talking about how is how are how is LeBron still running up and down the court? Because listen, halfway through practice, I don't even think I can run up the court. Yeah, and I'm a sophomore in college. 
Yeah, it's unbelievable. He's like, like how much rehab he's doing yeah. for his, to he make spend, his like, body doesn't feel Doesn't he spend like a million on his body each year? Yeah. Crazy money. You got to. Yeah. He takes care of himself. And probably, I mean, good genes too, honestly, right? Yeah. It's got to be because that's insane. I know. Like at that point, like how much rehab can you do? Like that's still Seriously. insane. Like your body is has to be. Remember, like weren't we weren't we just talking about how you guys were like, how does your body feel when you wake up? Because yeah. ours hurts, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, I have to peel myself out of bed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> do your knees hurt? Oh yeah. How do you do it then? I have to warm up for like at least thirty minutes to feel good. Before actually like playing, dynamic warm up. Yeah, so when I, I play against you guys, I'm like, Coachella, I can't even go really, really hard because I'm gonna actually hurt myself <laughs> if I'm not warm. If I'm not warm, yeah, you know what I mean. So do you do that by yourself then? Yeah, or you're like before up? our actual practice. Yeah, yeah, I'll go in early and shoot and warm up because our warm up is pretty short. So you like we have to be prepared to play. Like when we start, you gotta be warmed and ready to go. Like there's no excuses. So I'm like. Whoa. Like you on the bike. Yelled at a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all get kind of yelled at a lot. It's, it's uh, great. I crack a couple jokes. Everything okay. gets better after that. Okay, good. Yeah. I can, I can see that. I can see oh, that. Oh, yeah. See all yep. the time. See, I would be like middle of tears, like, <laughs> yeah. I always crack a joke during probably the worst time, and it's great. See, I like, I would need that. You got to cut I the just tension. Cry. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's on the verge of tears, and I say something. I weird. hit Katie in the ear this year. Thought oh, it was boy. her head. <laughs> And was bawling my eyes out for like 10 minutes. Didn't even go back in for shell defense because I was actually in a panic. I thought I'd re concussed Katie in her brain. Well, see, I thought. And she yelled brain. at me, which made it even worse. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, I did kind of yell. But like, said, it was just why like are on you defense. Because so I was yeah, supposed I to just, be. I just thought I was there on defense and I was just like angry that I got hit and I just didn't even literally remember what came out of my mouth. I was just angry. And then I go over to Steve and I come back and I see you bawling. And I thought she didn't you even come up to me. Okay, I thought you were mad at me because I like yelled at you. Well, yeah, which, I was, which but... is a very valid reason. <laughs> is a valid reason. But then I heard that you were like were no, mad because she you did thought not you hold her ear. We can find it on film. <laughs> she held her head. Okay, I was holding it like this. Yeah. So that's right. So by my I was ear standing by my right head. there after Katie just had brain surgery. Here's little Maggie <laughs> over here, like, oh my little god, Maggie. I just re did her brain surgery. Does that even make sense? No, no I just no. hurt her brain again. <laughs> And so I'm bawling. And Coach Bond comes to me like, Maggie, it's her, her ear. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's her brain. He's like, no, it's her ear. I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Finally found out it was her ear, but I still couldn't stop crying because once I start, you can't stop. Like, yeah. That's just like, yeah. the truth. Yeah. I, I did mean, end up going up to you, though. Yeah. I and mean, you were like, thanks for caring. I was like, shut up. I no, it I was I nice. I think, I, I, think I literally said shut up after she I, said You, you did, caring. but you were laughing about it, so I didn't No, it was not like a hard shut up. It was just like a shut up. Shut up. Best friend problems. Moral of the story, I will never cry over Katie's ear ever again. Oh, my God. Moral of the story, I know that Maggie cares about me. <laughs> you didn't know that before? Now she really knows. We discussed this on the bus the one time and how you have also said some dirty things to me. Yep, look at that face. She knows it, too. <laughs> so it's a two-way street. Okay, but we I just don't like remember to banter. saying it. Wow, you guys are getting all the dirty deeds. It's it's a good time, though. It's a great time. It is a great time. It's a great time. Yeah, oh, gosh, I'm sure. It's a great time. <laughs> Okay, before we wrap up, let's go to back to season stuff. Let's get back on. Okay. <laughs> Is this a basketball podcast? Yeah. It's everything. It's an everything podcast. Um, what are our goals for the season as a team? I know we haven't necessarily sat down as like a whole team and really discussed, but you guys kind of know. Um, yeah. So, like, what are what are our goals for the season? And you can let's say it as a team and kind of individually. I feel like it's hard for a team because almost every team, what their goal is, make it to the NCAA tournament, like mm-hmm. be a, like maybe be above like the top half of the conference, stuff like mm-hmm. that. But I feel like ours is maybe just more in depth and it's like connected to I feel like personal and the team. So just like myself, yes, I might want to like limit turnovers, be the best like point guard I can be to help my teammates. Yeah. But like in turn just have that great energy together. Culture, 100%. like being yeah. able to connect really well with each other is almost more important because the wins will come from that. Totally. Yeah. Great answer, Katie. That is a really good answer. Yeah, and I think just like making a name for ourselves outside of the media, like for like we're starting completely fresh over. Like, yeah. I think the media thinks, like their only thing is, oh, they better win this year. They better get so many wins, which we will. 
But I think it's also just like making a name for ourselves and like giving us time to like create a culture. Mm -hmm. I love that. That was a great answer, you guys. Thank you. I feel inspired. Me too. You inspire (laughs) us every day. (laughs) She does. She does. By filling your water bottles? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I feel good about that. <laughs> no, I love you. You do a great perfect, job, perfect and you're very like, nice about, about it too. Thank you, you like always have it. I get like, really excited. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I'm like running around. I feel really useful. <laughs> she always come up. You need a water. <laughs> like sure, I'll take a sip. Yeah. <laughs> Make you feel better. I'll take a swig. Yeah. You don't actually want it, but no, you like, take it. <laughs> no, it's nice. Oh That's gosh. Nice. All right. Who do we think should join the Gold Blooded Podcast next time? It could be anybody. Ooh. Doesn't have to be a teammate. Yeah, and why do you want? Why do you think? I feel like to start off strong, Lindsay Whalen. Uh huh. Mm. I feel we've discussed this before. We think that you guys have very similar personalities because <laughs> it's like very funny, yep. outgoing, but it's like weird, weird, dry. <laughs> where like everyone else will like be laughing. You like what's so funny? Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> I like she laughs at herself. Where I don't know, literally be like, yeah, say a joke and be like, I would say, and I then she laugh. Like, turn around, she's like, yeah, <laughs> she does. <laughs> like our poor scout guys, she yells at them and then she turns around and gives them a little smirk and they don't see it, so they're probably terrified of her. Yeah, she does. I always laugh at my own jokes. Yeah, she true. does do the. And I'm she's like, yeah, <laughs> sure laughing on the inside. Don't like, she oh, she is. She's cracking up on she the knows inside. she's funny too, though. Yes. So like, if you that's know like her, you get it. But like, yeah. if you don't at first, you're like, <laughs> well, that was me all last year. I was, I was just like trying year. to like figure out. I'm like, okay, are, is that am I joke supposed or? to laugh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I felt like out of place if I was laughing and she wasn't. And I was like, oh god. But now I'm like, I know you're not gonna laugh. Mm-hmm. Should just, I laugh? I, we just know she's a goofball. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But yes, I would say her because it would just be funny. Yeah. I'm trying to think who to go with her. Uh, I feel like just you two. You know, get a little more. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Of. Can we please? Like, that actually be so funny. <laughs> you two just going at it. Like, try, we I get, actually think she, we need one chair right here and it just be way. We would get nothing done. I'd have to, like, actually write down real notes and go off of it because we would just be going I off think tangents. That's hilarious. Yeah, it would I think be she's funny. still, even if she heard the question, you know, back to your last question, oh my what gosh. we talked about, and then just. Or wouldn't keep answer the on. question at all. Yep. <laughs> and would start talking about something completely different. Yeah. I think that needs to happen because I would watch that maybe, like, three times. <laughs> Actually, right. I'd watch the actual video. I wouldn't even watch the audio. Like, I'd watch the video. I agree. Okay, I love that. I feel good about myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, maybe we'll have Lindsay Whalen on next. We will see. Um, thank you guys for joining us on our Gold Blooded Podcast. KDB, Maggie yeah, C. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> That's our bye. Bye, guys. Bye.